Good day grade 11s, welcome to this next lesson in Euclidean Geometry. In this lesson we're going to be teaching you a new proof. It says that subtended angles in the same segment of the circle are equal. So actually this builds on to the previous proof. The previous proof said the angle at the center equals twice the angle at the circumference. This one says that if you have two angles where is this? If you have two angles, let's say for example Q and P, if they're subtended by the same chord, for example AB, then they are equal. So the proof says given your center circle O, there's your circle O, okay, points P and Q in the circumference, arc AB, and it subtends angle APB and AQB in the same segment. And we need to basically prove that these two angles are equal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by drawing some construction lines. I'm going to construct a line joining AO and OB. So I'm going to say construct AO and OB. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the proof that I have just learnt. I'm going to say let angle AQB AQB equal X. So I'm going to let this angle here equal X. But if that angle is X then do you agree that angle AOB has to be equal to 2x. Why? Because it is the angle at the center is twice the angle at circumference if they are subtended by the same arc. So therefore we can say therefore angle AOB equals 2x. Why? Angle at center equals 2 times the angle at the circumference. Okay, that's pretty easy, right? But now if we look at this some more, do you see that AOB is subtended by AB, but angle P is also subtended by AB, and P is at the circumference. So therefore, using the same law that I've just used, this has to be X. So therefore, angle APB, APB is equal to XY, angle at center equals two times my angle at circumference circumference and therefore amazing that means that AQB is equal to angle APB and so we have proven if two angles are at the circumference and they're subtended by an equal arc or the same arc, then they are equal. Ta-da! Right, now please make sure that you have learnt this proof and that you know how to do it because we're going to be applying it in our next set of lessons. Have a great day, grade 11s.